Mr. Speaker, Canada and Mission Masque Fraser Canyon are home to a vibrant community of more than one million Punjabi Canadians. Each year, many travel to the Punjab region to visit family, friends and religious landmarks like the Golden Temple. But right now they must fly into Delhi and make the long journey by train, bus or other means. Canadians are asking for direct flight service from Vancouver or Toronto to, or Toronto to Amritsar, Punjab, which will cut travel times drastically. This is good for our economy and it makes good economic sense. I am pleased today, Mr. Speaker, to table petition E3771, signed by more than 14,000 Canadians, calling on the Government of Canada to work with airlines, India's High Commission, to initiate this direct flight service as soon as possible. Mr. Speaker, we can get this done, and petitioners from across Canada look forward in good faith to the government's response. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Punjabi Canadians in my riding of Brampton North and across Canada have been advocating for a direct flight from Canada to the Indian city of Amritsar. My colleagues and I have also been raising their concerns with officials. Would the Minister of Transport please update this House as to what our government's position on the issue is? The Honourable Minister of Transport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank my colleague for Brampton North for her question and her advocacy on this issue. Uh, I've been hearing from members of the Punjabi Canadian communities and colleagues here in the House of Commons about the, their, their desire to see more direct flights to India, including flights to Amritsar. This afternoon, I met with the Indian Civil Aviation Minister and I raised the issue of more direct flights, including flights to Amritsar. I want to thank Minister Sindhya for his willingness to work together on strengthening our air transportation agreement. Mr. Speaker, our government will continue to support airlines to, look in, to implement more direct flights to India. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.